Hello, yes, well, so much for Zoom. I'll have to find out why our Zoom doesn't work. Seems like it worked great when I was just talking with Ryan, but then as soon as everybody else came in, I don't know. So anyways, so if you didn't hear because you heard every other word or third word of mine, read pages 489 to 491, that's the end of the reading, um, and doing your study guide questions 21 through 25, I don't know if you heard this, but if you see the blue area, you'll see that it says, make sure your second half of your review is done by Wednesday. On Wednesday, we will um, uh, collect all your study guides, questions 21 through 35, uh, and then we will grade them, get them back to you, and then, I don't know, we'll, we'll try to Zoom on Thursday. Uh, if it doesn't work, I might just once again be doing another video. Um, so just very quickly, just wanted to run through uh, the notes uh, for today, uh, and then you guys are all set. Uh, once again, Harlem, Harlem uh, will become the center of artistic development. Harlem will become the center of our heart, uh, artistic development. Um, and uh, the second point is that black writers will focus on their experience of being black in a white society. Uh, so for the very first time, we will be able to have authors who will be able to express what it feels like to be uh, an African American in this all predominantly white culture. Um, and so, uh, so this is definitely going to be a huge change when it comes to literature for the United States. Um, many young writers uh, that will be referred to as the lost generation uh, will become very critical of the United States during uh, the 1920s. And um, there, many of them will actually move to Europe uh, so that they can sit and write uh, critically of us. Um, one of the authors, the famous authors that I'm sure that somewhere down the line uh, you guys will be reading, um, is um, Scott uh, uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald, uh, who writes the jazz era and the dark side of our society, uh, The Great Gatsby, uh, which I think you guys might be uh, reading now, if I'm not mistaken. Um, engineers will take a new interest in art during this time and enhance their buildings. Uh, one of the big uh, types of buildings that they will be build, literally big, uh, will be skyscrapers. Uh, those will now become kind of like the thing that everyone wants to do. Um, people who are manufacturing stuff will focus on designs that will become outdated. This is referred to as planned obsolescence. Um, obsolescence, I'm sorry, planned obsolescence. So literally, uh, between the 1920s and the 1940s, auto companies will be coming to you every year asking you to buy a new car, not because you need a new car, not because that your car is busted, but because you want to buy the new car, the new one, the new version. And so automotive companies will try their very best to convince people that they just need to buy the new car now that it's out. Um, and so, yes, people are designing stuff so that it does break and you want to move and or find something else that's now more in style. Um, prohibition comes finally for a lot of people, especially women, who've been working on this for almost 100 years now. Um, and in the 1920s, they'll now be able to get what they uh, wanted, which is the ending of alcohol. Uh, the 18th Amendment, letter A, um, to the Constitution goes into effect just a year after the end of the war. So in 1920, uh, the 18th Amendment goes in. Uh, this outlaws the manufacturing, the sale, and transportation of alcohol. This outlaws the manufacturing, the sale, and transportation of alcohol. The question is, is that if you have not made that alcohol, if it was already made, if you aren't um, selling it, quote unquote not selling it, but handing it out to your good friends, um, and or not transporting it, then technically speaking, you're not violating the 18th Amendment. So what we're going to start seeing are these secretive places 
called speakeasies, right? Uh, these secret underground places where you can still get a drink. Technically, you're getting a drink from a friend, but we all know you're actually buying a drink. Um, so um, this, as I said, did not outlaw drinking. This did not outlaw drinking. That did not outlaw drinking. So in order to end the drinking and enforcing this amendment, the Volstead Act, the Volstead Act will be passed. The Volstead Act will be passed. Um, tomorrow we'll talk about kind of the not so good stuff that comes out of this, but we will also talk about some of the positive things. And I know most people don't talk about this, but there are positive things that do come out of prohibition. Okay, guys, so don't forget, you have five questions to do tonight. You've got the last three pages of reading uh, for what you need before the test. Um, strongly recommend that if you haven't at least looked at the essay and haven't at least th started thinking about maybe a thesis and or an introductory paragraph, you probably should start to do that. You should start organizing it. Maybe even start thinking about what your body paragraphs are going to be. All right? All right, guys. We'll have a good day. I'm sorry we couldn't Zoom. I hate it when we can't Zoom. All right. See you guys. Have a good day.